Hey guys, in this video, we're going to add some custom post formats to our WordPress theme. So this is a page in the documentation and it gives us all the different supported formats that we can use. Okay, so we have a side, which is basically just um, kind of like a status update type post. You would probably just have a title and maybe the date and a small piece of content gallery, which is a, a gallery of images, a link an image itself, a quote, status, video, audio, and chat. Now I'm not going to get into all of these because that would be just way too much, um, but I'm going to show you how we can use an aside and also a gallery. All right, and maybe something else as we as we go along. All right, so let's go and open up index.php. And I want to introduce a function called get template part. And what we can do is it, what this does is it helps us not repeat ourselves. All right. If we look in index PHP, we have this while loop and then we have, um, you know, the title, the content, the author. If we go to um, single dot PHP, same thing, the title and so on. Um, archive. What else? Page dot PHP. So what we can do is we can use get template part to create different content templates. All right, so let me just uh, give you an example. So we're going to create a new file called content.php. All right, and then let's go back to index. And I want everything within the while loop. OK, so let's grab this down to this. OK, everything within the while loop. We're going to cut it out. I'm going to go to content and just paste that in. OK, save it, go back to index. And then this is where we're going to use the get template part function. So get template part and it's the file is called content PHP. So in here we're going to say content. Save. Let's go back to our front end reload and you can see it's the exact same. So that's good. That's what we want. It really cut down the code in our index file. OK, made it a lot easier to read. So what we'll do now is we're going to use this in some of the other pages as well. So let's go to single dot PHP. All right. And we want to go to the while loop once again. And um, we're going to replace everything again. Let me just copy this in our single and we're going to get everything in the while loop. And paste this in. OK, so save it. Now, if we go to a single page, you'll notice it's back to being formatted as if it was in the index page. So what we'll do is in the content page we need to we need to put some conditional statements in so we know that if it's a single page we don't want the link around the title so let's go right above here and let's say php if is single and we want an else All right, so let's copy this or cut it rather. If it's single, we don't want the link. So we'll just paste it in and then we'll remove the link. If it is, if it's not single, then we do want the link. So let's save that. And now the single page doesn't have the link. So we'll copy this if is single and then let's go down and figure out what else we need. So if it's single, we don't want the excerpt. We want the content. So let's paste that there. OK, and then let's take the excerpt, put that here. But if it's single, then we want the content. OK, now if we go back and reload, now we have all the content. The last thing we, we need on the single page is the comments. OK, so let's just 
Uh, we'll take this. And if single. And we'll say PHP comment template. And now we get our comments back. Okay, so it's back to, to how we want. And the blog post page looks good, looks how we want. So we cut down that, that repeating of ourselves, okay, and we just have a more dynamic page. And archive, we can do the same thing. So we'll grab this, go in archive, and just paste this in the while loop. And there's not really any conditionals that we need to do here because it's the same as the index page. Okay, so that's fine. So now that we have that out of the way, let's move on to our post formats. So before we do anything, we need to actually enable them. So we do that in our functions.php file. And we're going to go to our theme setup function here. And let's go to the bottom. And let's say add theme support. We want to add theme support for post formats. All right. And then the second parameter is going to be an array of the formats that we want. So we want a side and we want gallery. All right. So we'll save that. And now if we go to our post and we say uh, add new, now you should have this box here with the different formats. So let's create in a side post. All right. We'll put that in business. And we'll say side post one. And then we'll just get some content. Paste that in publish. So right now, if we go back and look, our side post is formatted just like our other ones. There's no difference. OK, so to change that, what we can do is in our in our theme folder, we'll create a new file and we'll save it as content dash aside dot PHP. OK, and then remember where we use that get template part. We now want to add a second parameter to that, which is going to be a function called get post format. All right, and we want to put that we want to put that in all of the get template parts. So we have one in archive and we have one in single. Okay. So in our side, a content aside PHP, let's just write the word test and then go and reload. And now you can see that that aside post now is just spitting out test because it's looking at this file. So let's go ahead and edit this. Say div class. Um, we'll still give it the blog post class. But I want to give it a, also a class of post aside. All right, and then let's give it div class well and bootstrap the well class gives it a great background and some padding all right now in here let's say small put in a small tag and let's do php the author and we'll put an at sign and then let's do the date Okay, and then under that, we're going to say PHP the content. Okay, so if we go back now and reload, there's our aside post, okay, which you can see is formatted very differently than the other ones. All right, so that's that. Now let's do a gallery. Okay, so we're going to go to add new post and let's say photo gallery. And 
let's say add media, create gallery, and I'm just going to grab these images, create new gallery, link to, let's say the media file. All right, so we'll insert gallery and publish. All right, now in our theme folder, let's create a new file called content dash gallery dot PHP. All right, and let's say div class blog post and uh, let's do actually well you know what we'll just do the content all right we want to make sure we put a special class in here as well save it now if we go back and reload uh, whoops Oh, we get to choose gallery. And there we go. So now we have our photo gallery. Actually, let's put the title in. We'll do an H2. And we'll say PHP the title. Okay, and if we go to our style sheet. We'll say post gallery and let's give it a background. Let's see, we'll give it a dark background. We'll say padding 10 pixels and text align to the center. Let's see what that looks like. All right. Let's make the H2 white. All right, so just gives you an example of how you can set different uh, different formatting. And this will just go to the file. All right, so that's post format. So we're pretty much there as far as the blog goes. Uh, in the next video, I'm going to show you how we can start to create a custom homepage.